Choosing a video editing tool doesn't have to be overwhelming. Start by asking yourself, what kind of videos do I want to create? For quick edits, go for user-friendly tools. For professional-grade projects, explore advanced software with more control. Your perfect tool is out there. Start creating. Hi everyone, so today we will recreate this 3D reel by zen.aep. So first, let's keep this aside. Extract the audio. Recover the audio and you know reuse it as a reference. Okay. So let's zoom it in so I can see it clearly. Okay. So the first scene is you not know, text with these three logos. So let me bring in my background. Okay. Arrange my text. Sorry, my logos on top of it. I will write the text which is choosing a video editing tool I'm choosing the font Fred Sans Black and then for this I'm choosing this font I actually can't read the font also it's so clustered okay now what we have to do is first let's see the you know Choosing a video editing tool does. Let's write scene one and link all our things there. Okay. Let's just increase everything and now select the top layers except the background. And then hit all plus C. Okay, yes, before that, we'll add some animation to our text. So let's add type to animation. And for this, I'll select fade in. Using a video editing video editing tool. Choosing a video editing tool. Now I'll compound group it. First, add on to transform. Go ahead somewhere around here. Then zoom it in. Now hit Alt plus K and select you know ease. Okay, now. I'll go ahead one frame or what I'll do is I'll just copy this okay but now I'll delete the keyframes bring it here okay now select transform again and go to this marker and hit on transform again and drag this out also remember to increase its you know scale a bit i'll cut this the below layer from here and delete it now i'll add some keyframe animation what it in tool Editing tool. Editing tool. Choosing a video editing tool. Choosing a video editing tool doesn't have to be open. No, it will be doesn't have to be overwhelming. So I'll bring this because I have this image. Bring it here. So I'll put it. Just above the first keyframe, hit on transform keyframe, go ahead here. Just above the second keyframe, again hit on transform frame and expand this. Now I'll smoothen it out. 
to tool doesn't have to be open. Tool doesn't have to be open. Tool doesn't have to be open. Choosing a video editing tool doesn't have to be open. I'm not adding colors to the text because I'm just teaching you the you know animation so you can choose colors accordingly. Now I'll compound clip this, hit on transform and follow this path of this person and hit on transform again here. Now go to the first keyframe and bring it here. Tool doesn't have to be open. Tool doesn't have to be open. Editing tool doesn't have to be open. Choosing a video editing tool doesn't have to be open. To give it more depth, what we can do is bring in the blur effect from effect stats. And just before the start of the next scene, just put your blur, hit on transform, sorry hit on the key same, go ahead and decrease the you know, effect. Now hit all plus K and tool doesn't have to be open. Okay, so the transitions between the C's will be smoother. Okay, remember to you know add some animation to the text as a pod button to add and already made it a compound clip what i can do is i'll just hit paid in animation tool doesn't have to be over editing tool doesn't have to be overwhelmed again select all of these except the background hit all plus g transform go ahead Pull it down. Start by asking your doesn't have to be overwhelming. Start by asking overwhelming. Start by asking yourself. Select this again, make it a compound clip, hit on video, transform, go ahead. Asking yourself. Oh. Hit on transform when the audio ends at yourself. Go to the top, bring it up. Start by asking yourself. Start by asking yourself. Start by asking yourself. Now, this animation is also very easy. Just bring in my white background. Okay, and then I'll just add our pin strips make it you know zero then i will add my frame in the end and in the starting in the end meaning here okay and then i will increase the size add some keyframes sorry add some keyframe animation Kind of video to our close in the gap. Kind of videos do I want? What kind of videos do I? What kind of video? What kind of videos do I want to create? 
now i'll just bring in my default text and write here what kind of i'll add some you know type to animation what kind of what kind of videos what kind of videos do i want what kind of videos do i want to create for quick kind of videos do I want to create what now it will go up again and this will come select these three and expand it now select everything except the panel and hit the compound clip again the same thing hit on transform Go ahead, pull it up. Hit Alt plus K. Select the Y axis and hit Cubic out. For quick edits. Now again, I'll just you know go to Effects, bring in my blur. So for between these sin, I'll put this. Hit, you know, keyframe. Go ahead here. Try to keep, oh, you know, the properties to zero. Hit all plus K and slow down it out. Start by asking your. Overwhelming. Start by asking yourself what doesn't have to be overwhelming. Start by asking yourself. Okay. So you have to just, you know, place your objects to the animation, then compound clip it, and then for moving it out. Just again do a slide right left animation and for the next scene just put a blur so it is easily you know transitions now this will come from below or quick edit so I'll just do the you know this text you can do for this cursive you know you can use something like monotype or siva yeah here is the cursive font so you can use this monotype for siva and just I'll use this image here. I'm already playing it. You can do the text yourself, it's very easy. So it will come from below. For quick edits. Okay, for quick edits. Now for this same, okay, only this, you know, text. I'll tell you. I have also told many times. You can do it very easily. Same animation going left, only the text I'll tell you how to do. So just remember to write your text, anything it might be. And then what you can do is just, you know, add on to color and make it green then head on towards stroke and whatever the you want the transparent color for this it is white you know so let's head on towards stroke and make it white decrease thickness zoom it in okay now at all press g head on towards video Remove PG, Roma key, select the color picker and then select the inside green part and increase the intensity. Now you can just decrease the opacity to get this effect. Okay, so this part same, it will come from this side. Okay, I have, you know, provided everything in the description. So from this point, you can practice on your own. The same animations are there, nothing is new. Okay, so for this part, okay, what you can do is, so suppose this we have reached till here, okay, and bring in the blur again. This time we have to reverse the animation, so first it will not be blurred, hit on keyframe, go ahead and then increase the blur, okay, 
plus and now what we have to do is hit alt plus k and then you have to hit cubic out okay so again let's hit it cubic out yeah now i'll hit alt plus k again to close it now just select this alt plus g to make it a compound clip then hit on keyframe transform keyframe go ahead and scale it down like this okay now again you can hit on alt plus k to open this up and you can hit the scale and select cubic out again okay now what you have to do is after this just bring the logo like this okay, and add a fade in animation see here what that animation same animation it is okay and then you can write your text in the below and again the same coming from the left everything okay all these are same animations and this one coming up is also very easy what you can do is suppose this is the frame and then just wait let me bring in my white background increase it to cover the whole frame then head on to mask add mask split rotate it add some feather it's up to you then hit on transform go ahead sorry hit on keyframe in the mask go ahead and increase it up like this so you have got that animation okay and just smoothen it out so this ends our you know animation